Hey guys, I'm Kim. Thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate it. We've um, had some new subscribers this week, so I'm really excited about that. So today's painting is going to be a ribbon pour. Um, and I'm trying out a new pouring medium, which I will put down in the description box. It's gonna include both glue and Floetrol and polyacrylic. Um, it's my first time trying it, my first time buying the polyacrylic. I've kinda put it off, hesitated a little bit on using that. So we're gonna see how this works out. But I'm really excited. It's a lot of metallics, which I've been wanting to do for a little bit. Um, and I've done a couple metallic pours that just haven't turned out well um, recently, so um, I'm really excited about doing that. Sorry, <laughs> Daisy's joining in. That's up here. So, anyways, let's get to it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, I am doing this ribbon pour on a 10 by 20 inch canvas. My pouring medium is going to be Floetrol, three parts Floetrol, to three parts of this water-based polycrylic. Sorry, I had to make sure the top was on tight. <laughs> to two parts of a glue wall and water mix. And that is actually mixed three parts glue to one part distilled water. And then you mix two parts of that in with your Floetrol and Polycrylic. And I'll put all of that down in the description box. Um, so the paints I'm using are the Artist Loft Metallic Bronze. This is a Deco Art Metallic Black with Master's Touch Permanent Black. And then Artist Loft Metallic Gold. And then I also just have some Artist Loft Black and some Artist Loft White. And the white is going to be my base. And I'm not sure where I got this pouring medium from. Um, I've watched so many videos now, I really don't remember. So I'm just layering the cup. Let's see, this is the regular black, followed by bronze. As you can see, this paint is really thick. This is the metallic black. Followed by the gold. And then some white. And I'm just going to keep repeating that till I get to the top of this five ounce cup. So I have a, my canvas needs about eight ounces of paint for the base coat. And by the way, that base coat is mixed just one part paint to two parts Floetrol. Um, but I filled up this five ounce cup. I don't know that I'll use all of this for the ribbon paint. We'll see. I'm trying not to spill it because if you recall the video from a few weeks ago, I spilled my cup twice <laughs> and nearly spilled it a third time. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to flood the canvas here. really um, 
this is really more just supposed to be more of a flow extender type thing instead of actually covering the canvas. I found the paint was so thick that I really needed to have the camp the whole canvas flooded. And you'll see I have I have to go back in and add some paints. All right, so I'm going to pinch the cup. And then just uh, pour a ribbon design on here. Um, I think I'm, I'm doing like a figure eight hindsight. Maybe I should have started that in the center of the figure eight. But I'm just kind of going around and around and around. Probably should have not ended in the center or should have <laughs> ended back matching where I started. Alright. So I want to tilt this to keep the ribbon. I don't want it all to blend together. So I'm just going to go top to bottom, side to side, instead of going corner to corner like I normally would. Because I want to stretch the paint, but I don't want to lose the composition that I have. Oh no, I dripped paint off my hands. <laughs> well, the beauty of abstract is that it will look like it was supposed to be there, right? A lot of the sides did not get covered the way they normally would. Um, probably just because of the way I had to tilt, I'm not sure. But I'll have to go in and touch those up a little bit. But I really like this. It is truly abstract, isn't it? my corners didn't get much and I've got a ton of this paint left I'm just gonna try and add some ribbons to the 
edges here. I don't know that I'll tilt those. I'll probably just let those flow off on their own. So I really like that um, you can see a little bit of all the colors. No one particular color shows up more. At least I don't think. So here is a close-up of this wet. I really like this. I wasn't so sure about using that polycrylic and the glue mix, um, but I really like how it made the paints thick and not real flowy. So you held your ribbon shape. Love those little sh fingerling shadows under there. That looks really cool. Well guys, stay tuned for the dry version of this. All right guys, I'm back. So the painting is done. I'm really happy with it. And this is the it dry. So I'm hoping I can show you guys some of what it looks like here. A lot of cool stuff like this part sorry there's a bunch of shadows but you couldn't I couldn't see that when it was flat um, those little fingerlings I couldn't even see those until I picked it up and then the light hit it and there were different shadows so I'm I'm really pleased with it the metallic black mixed with the regular black I think was a good idea because the black, the metallic black by itself would have been really thin. And it kind of gives this gray kind of texture. It's just really cool. So I think that um, this one is going to end up being varnished and I am trying to decide if I'm going to keep it here at my house or put it up for sale. I haven't decided. Uh, sometimes I keep them, hang them up for a while and then change them out and sell what I just had hung up. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. So thank you all for being here. 
if you liked this, then uh, by all means, click the subscribe button, click the like button, leave me a comment, and come back next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.